Yo, what is going on guys? We have the Land Rover Defender 110 2020 here. Um, and the title is not clickbait guys. This mod brings the most customization possible to a mod that I've ever seen in a mod so far. We were able to change the rims, we were able to change badging, we were able to change lights, headlights, bumpers, um, you name it. We were able to change literally everything about this Land Rover Defender. And I'm very excited to check this out. So, you know what to do, guys. Drop a like on the video, smash that thumbs up, and make sure you drop a sub on the channel, guys. We're going to jump into it. Alright, it is time to customize this Land Rover Defender 110 2020. The picture was wrong on the front, but that doesn't mean a whole lot. We're going to take the custom, no actually we're going to take the off-road engine, gearbox, we're going to take the off-road gearbox, suspension, uh, probably take the off-road, the active makes sense, but yeah, we're going to take the off-road suspension, see what we have for mud tires, nothing, but off-road we do have some good options, some really good options. We're going to take the R20, regular R20. Take the off-road winch. Spare tire mount. Get a whole lot of them. Snorkel add-on. Frame. I don't think we need any baggage, do we? This is kind of cool, so we'll add that in the trailer hitch. Roof options. Lots of roof options. You can have the panoramic if you want it. Front bumper, and this is the rear one, I'm assuming. This is kind of cool that you're able to add this stuff. I mean, you can even, wow, all right, that is really cool. Let's see what we got for bonnet options, put the 110 on there. Fender flares. The options on this is uh, pretty impressive. I don't even know what else you would say other than that. It is really impressive. Ladder on roof. No, we don't need that. Logo defender. Roof, camera, grill, all kinds of options here, which even changes the headlight shape. Um, this has got to be the most customization we've had available on a mod yet, possibly. All kinds of rim choices, which look all look really good. I think that looks really cool, so that's what we're going to go with, and we're going to pull it out and see how it does, guys. Alright, so the first thing I really want to point out here is this interior is like 110% done. This is an ultra high quality, realistic interior um, to every level. Like, the detail even in the gear shifter is phenomenal. Let's see if the gauges work, yep. The digital looking gauges work, mirrors work. We got a horn. The sound is actually pretty unique, and I want to go ahead and fast forward into the night to check out this lighting. Um, the lighting is absolutely brilliant as well. It's not overpowering, it's not underpowered. It is uh, just where you would kind of hope it would be. Let's go ahead and switch into the afternoon. And the sound quality on this is really nice. It is a lot more realistic for, you know, a scout this size or a Land Rover in general. These tires provide crazy traction even on the ice. I am <laughs> really surprised at how good they're doing. Let's pop it in a high and take a stab here in the snow. So let's uh, put it in to low plus with the diff lock or low. 
So it does have its struggles here in the snow. And honestly, that might just come down to the tires being, you know, relatively small. They're not that big a tire, unfortunately. They don't really fill out the whole wheel well either, and that's okay. Overall, the fit and finish on this is amazing. I could have gone with the active suspension, but for obvious reasons, I wanted to check out the uh, non-active suspension, and that gave me a choice of either stock or off-road. Let's back out of this snow here and get turned around. And as much as we're slowing down from time to time, we haven't come to a dead stop yet. It'll be interesting to see how it performs in the torture test the mud pit. High gear we seem to be doing fine and as always we're gonna pop it in a low now and put the diff lock on since we are gonna try to go through the uh, scout side of the torture test what we've been using for scouts so far in the last few videos try to make it a little more fair for these little guys Alright, I honestly don't think we're going to make it through that, so we might have to go back up and around to the trail and see how it does in that environment, because we are just pretty well digging and sinking here. One thing that I will say is although I got pretty stuck so far with this, it's been very reasonable to get it out without a winch. <laughs> I will give this mod that at the very least. I still really enjoy the sound on this as well. And there we go, we made it out successfully. Now let's see how it does on this trail. There is a mixture of deep snow slash mud, so it'll be interesting to see 
overall I think it's going to perform just fine. This Land Rover does seem capable, and honestly, if anything, the torture test would have been a little bit too unfair to it, or unrealistic, given that this Scout is what it is. Uh, not exactly made for extreme deep mud. This is just an SUV at the end of the day. And here we're struggling in a realistic sense, but it's not OP by any means. I think we do have a chance to get out of this, but I don't think we're going to be stuck here. I do not want to use the winch unless we absolutely have to. I don't know if we're going to make it out now. I was pretty confident going into it. Now not so much, but I'm glad we didn't try to go into it going uphill in the snow. That is for sure. Looks like we're going to inch out of here. And it looks like we made it out, guys. Didn't have to use the winch once. Just had to have some patience.
I've never gone that way, so someday soon we're gonna have to check that out. Good plate, so we should be good here as long as we can get over this. There we go. And that is it, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. 10 out of 10, I recommend checking this out. Modeling is going to be in the description, guys. We'll catch you next time.